Hey y'all, Dustin here. We're gonna talk about peeing on a stick. Yes, uh, measuring ketone levels. How do you do it? Uh, why is this such a bad idea? Um, so I'm gonna explain it to you here shortly. Uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up video though of like why I don't recommend. If you want long-term health results, why I don't re recommend measuring a lot of things. It's a psychological nightmare, bad idea. But but check out the other videos that, I, that I'm gonna do on that topic because I think it's important. If you're really looking to change your life, measuring things will probably not get you there. So anyway, pee sticks. Why do I not recommend this? It's kind of like this. Uh, uh, this is, you pee on it. If you don't know what a pee stick is, it's, uh, it's been around for 20, 30, 40, 50, I mean, long time. I don't, way longer than me. Um, you pee on it, it turns color. It tells you you have ketones in your urine. It just tells you if you're passing ketones. Nothing's dangerous about that um, if you're a healthy individual. So nothing bad about that, but it tells you what it is. It doesn't tell you how many ketones you have in your body though. So if you have a car, and the car has a tank of gas and you're driving down the highway and I run behind it and I go to the exhaust. You can imagine me running behind the car and I put this little thing underneath the exhaust and I says, hey, it changed colors. It's either a trace amount or a big amount. What it's telling me is that there's gas in the car. It doesn't tell me how much gas is in the car, how long the car is gonna go for with this amazing fuel. It also tells me, is it dumping a lot of gas out of the exhaust or a little bit? So a trace amount means that it's just dumping a little bit. There's two reasons why. And if, if, it's, if, it's go to, if it goes to a, a purple, it tells me it's dumping a lot of ketones. There's a reason why. So when your body pees out ketones, it basically, it's a couple of reasons. One, because you're not absorbing them well, meaning your body loves ketones. It's super superior fuel source. Your body loves ketones. So it's either because you're not absorbing them very well or or is because you have a lot in your system and it's just extra and it doesn't need it. Those are the two reasons. So a lot of times when people first start the ketogenic diet or start drinking our product, this amazing tool, um, what happens is their body's not good at absorbing it. It can take up to six weeks to what we call keto adaption. It takes a little bit more time. And so your body doesn't use the fuel as well and it pees it out. So you might notice when you first start, you might notice the color shift a lot. But if you've been low carb, relatively healthy, maybe you, you exercise a lot, there's a good chance your body likes ketones and it, it keeps them. Meaning that the, the car isn't trying to waste the fuel off the exhaust, it's keeping them. So if you pee on the stick and you're like, well, it just says trace but I have energy, focus, mood, I feel great, I'm losing weight, I am feel awesome. Well, that tells me your body's keeping the ketones, it's not peeing them out. So that's a good thing, that's what you want. So be careful, because when you start looking at these things, people will say, well, I'm doing awesome, I'm in purple. Another person says, I'm not doing so good, I'm in, I'm in the, a, a light pink. And I go, well, how do you feel? And the one that says she's doing awesome is like, I don't not really any different. The one that's light pink goes, I feel great. But yet they think it's not working because these things are very inaccurate. Not a good idea. I don't recommend them. You can, you can use them for a little here and there for the first week. After that, throw them away and never use them again. Third way. So that's one way. There's two other ways to measure your ketones. One's a blood meter, way more accurate. Um, still don't recommend using it, but you can prick your finger. It's a very expensive way of measuring your ketone levels. But once again, it can shift and change very quickly. Way more accurate. The other one's a breath meter. Uh, a breath meter is a crazy formula that they have that when you breathe into it, it converts and tells you what your ketone levels are. And they're actually getting more and more accurate uh, over time. The challenge is, is you, if you drink our amazing product, if you drink our, our, our Keto Nat, the problem is, is that when you, ours is in a form of beta hydroxybutyrate, so you're not gonna see a huge breath meter shift in it. You can, but you may not see a huge shift in it. It may not be a good indicator of what your blood ketone levels are, which is actually what you're really looking for if you're gonna measure. So once again, if you're measuring ketone levels, know that this is a really bad idea. Blood meter is probably gonna be superior. If you're using our product, you don't need to measure, y'all. It works. We've already proven that. Uh, it completely works. It elevates your ketone levels. Just commit to the journey. At least six weeks for adaptation to happen. That's with the diet product. You're gonna get better results about six weeks in because your body's gonna get more, uh, the ability to utilize the ketones more effective. Basically, your body gets smarter at using a superior fuel source is what happens. So, but... If you're a person that says, should I measure, should I not measure? If you're in that brain, uh, brain mindset, check out the other video. I don't know if it'll be tagged on here or I'll have it on my channel. Um, check out the other video because I'm gonna beat that up. Why I believe that that is a, that is a detriment to your long-term goals and results. Measuring things ultimately leads to failure in most people's cases when it comes to health and wellness because it has to do with psychology. So we'll talk about that soon, y'all. Appreciate you.